I have already sold 6,000 items. I'm gonna tell you what it's like to sell an item for a dollar. Three, two, one! All right, Bolo Buddies, in this video, we are gonna talk about what not. And I'm gonna tell you what it's like to sell an item for a dollar and how much I make on that. I'm also gonna tell you the breakdown of fees and information basically on selling items between a dollar and $5 and also selling an item at $10. I'm not gonna go into the higher dollar stuff. We're just gonna talk about the lower priced items. And the reason we're gonna talk about that is because I feel like many of you are afraid to start whatnot because you think your items are gonna go so cheap, but honestly, that money adds up really, really quickly. If you look right here, I have already sold six thousand items on whatnot. Six thousand items. That is unbelievable. So um, definitely very, very cool. I do have a show today at noon. I'm going to be on from noon to two. It is a new seller's raid train. So uh, you can see right here, we've got Cat feeling Thrifty. She's going on before me from 10 to 12. And then I'm on from noon to two. Seems so vintage is two to four. Amy K Designs is four to six. Mac Pack Reselling is six to eight. And Lakeside is eight to 10. And that is all Eastern Standard Time. These are all new resellers, guys. So if you can show them some love and come over and support them at their shows, that would be incredible. Even if you just come to watch. Um, I don't usually do daytime shows, but I'm gonna do a daytime show. All right, let's get into these fees and I hope to see you today at noon. Also wanted to mention, if you guys have not joined Whatnot, you can go down below and get $15 to shop when you use my referral link to join Whatnot. Okay, so before we get started here with the fees, I just wanna say thank you to everybody who has come over to Whatnot and either supported me by making a purchase or just by watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Uh, so many of you in the chat hang out and we just have a great, great time chit-chatting it up. So if you guys aren't over there following me, come hang out, no pressure to buy, just come hang out. All right, let's talk about those fees. All right, Bubble Buddies. So I recently had somebody ask me if I sell something on whatnot for $2, how much do I make? And I thought we would start with how much do I make if I sell something for $1 on whatnot? So if I sell something for $1, I am going to make 58 cents, all right? Because there is a payment processing fee of 2.9% plus a 30 cent one-time fee. So that comes to 34 cents. Commission is eight cents. So you take the 34 plus the eight and subtract those two items from $1 and you're left with a payout of 58 cents. All right, let's look at a $2 item. How much do I make when I sell something for $2? So the buyer paid taxes and the buyer paid shipping, that's irrelevant here. We don't even need to look at that information. What we're looking at is the $2 price. We're looking at the payment processing fee, which is 2.9% plus the 30 cents. And the commission is 8% that whatnot takes for us selling the item on the platform. So if I sell something for $2, my payout is $1.36 and then I subtract my cost of goods and of course all of that gets reported to my accountant as income so then you know you have to pay taxes on it so that is if you sell items for one and two dollars let's take a peek at three four and five and let's look at a ten dollar item as well all right, so if I sell something for 
we are looking at a total payout of $2.26. So that's a lot better. When you sell something for a dollar, that payment processing fee, that extra 30 cents really, really gets you. Um, it reduces what you make a lot. But on a higher priced item, such as a $3 item, your payout is $2.26. So that is much better. Let's look at a $4 item. All right, so here is a $4 item and you can see my payout is $3.25. So depending on how much I paid for the item, this might be okay. I'm gonna tell you that on Whatnot, you're more going for selling a lot of items at a lower price. Could I be selling these items for more on eBay? Absolutely, but I am looking for the quick flip on whatnot and I absolutely love it. If you guys are not selling on whatnot, I definitely, definitely recommend it. Um, it's a totally different platform. I do sell items for more than $5. And speaking of $5, let's look at a $5 item. Okay, so here's a $5 item. So I typically, if it is a piece that is in good condition, no issues, I will typically start the items at $5. If they have condition issues, that's when I start at one, two, three, and four. Or sometimes I'm just feeling like, you know what, let's just take a chance on this. When it's a really great item, I'm going to start it really low. But most of the time, my good stuff, the higher end stuff, I usually start at $5. So what am I making on $5? On a $5 item, I am making $4.01. So... Uh, depending on what I paid for it, if it's a higher end item, I could take a loss. Or if I get a really good deal on it and I bought in bulk, I could make some money. But typically, when I have a nicer item, those items are going to go for more than $5. They're not going to go for my minimum bid. But it does happen sometimes. I'm not going to lie. I've had some items go for $5 and I was in complete shock. I was like, are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. But there's been other items that go for more than I expect. So really, it just all kind of evens out in the end. At the end of the show, you look at the total items sold and look at your profits and you think about how long you were on, what you paid for the items, and was it worth your time? And the answer for me is always yes. Now, have I had some really great shows? Yes. Have I had some not so great shows? Yes, but I love the platform and the best thing about it is the quick return. If you guys follow me on eBay, let me go grab a $10 item and then I'll keep talking. Okay, so here is a $10 item, but what I wanted to mention is if you guys follow my YouTube channel, I sell on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari, and whatnot is, you know, newer to me. It's my newest platform. And I wasn't sure if I was going to like it because I am a listed high and wait for the right buyer. That's kind of what I do. I'm a long tail reseller. I'm not a quick flip. And whatnot is the complete opposite. And I absolutely love whatnot. So what I'm going to tell you is you're gonna move inventory quickly. So that's the best part about it. And if you guys are not on Whatnot and you wanna get on Whatnot, definitely use my link down below. You can get $15 to shop with my referral link. And there's also a seller's link down there where you can use that and it will say that I referred you and um, it should speed up the process, the acceptance process. Uh, to get qualified. So definitely use those two links down in the description of the video. All right, so here is a $10 item. And you can see right here, the commission was 80 cents. And then the payment processing fee of 2.9% plus 30 cents was 65 cents, leaving me with $8.55. So I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you think it's worth it or not worth it? I love it. I absolutely love it. Whether I sell an item for a dollar, 
I sell an item for $10. I sell an item for $50. I've had some items go for over $100. Uh, a lot of times I'm doing jewelry most of the time and I don't know jewelry that well. So sometimes I sell things that I don't know what they are and I'm actually surprised by what they sell for because I don't know that it's something special, but the people in the chat do. And that's another thing that I really enjoy about Whatnot is I don't have to create titles. I don't have to understand what I'm selling. I just have to hold it up and show it to my buyers. All right, so that is a breakdown of fees for items from one to five and $10, but you get the idea. You can figure out the commission and the payment processing fee. I've got some other examples I could show you, but this is, I think, good enough to give you an idea of lower cost items because a lot of people are afraid to start on whatnot because they're like, my items aren't gonna sell for much. I'm not gonna make very much money. Well, let me tell you, those one, two, three, four, and five dollar items, they add up quick when you are selling a lot of stuff. So um, sometimes I like to do 100 items. If I'm doing jewelry, I like to sell 100 items. Sometimes I only sell 50. Sometimes I sell 75. It just depends on how long I'm on. I like to stay on about five hours if I can, but um, that's a long time. A lot of people usually only go on for two hours. So you have to decide what works for you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.